So, good morning everyone, and welcome to a vlog. I'm doing something a bit different today. So, I don't really talk about it that much, and you see in the recent last vlog, I actually used that airport. So, I don't actually live that far from Liverpool John Lane Airport. It's technically my local airport. Uh, but, obviously, as you know, with the route network, it doesn't really suit where I, tra where I travel. So I thought I'd do something a bit different there today. So I'm also an avid plane spotter, as you, anyone that knows me, they've seen my photography. I love my aviation photography. I've just, it's just something I've actually got into it on the side. And yeah, uh, I'm going to literally show you today my three best spotting locations at Liverpool John Lennon Airport. Now, I know it's not the best airport for traffic at the moment as of this year of 2023. But as of 2024, there is the likes of Jet2 coming there and a few other airlines. I think Arini's one of them and that. And it should, there is a lot of quiet spells at John Lennon Airport. So that should fill them gaps. So I'm going to shut up now. And uh, we're going to head up to the first location at John Lennon Airport. So catch you in a few. So, as you can see here on the map as we pull up to the first location at Bailey's Lane. So, yeah, you just got to be careful of it. It's a very, it's a singular road, so there is a few passing places, but it is extremely limited parking, as you'll see in a sec. Uh, the airport aren't too bothered about where you park in there, just as long as you don't block the road. Just please be mindful when you park up, but as you see we park up in a second, uh, it is very, very limited for space. So we've all parked up now and as we make our way out the car and head over to the grass verge across the road, for this location for me this is the best area to spot the planes from. So basically if they are arriving on 2-7 they are literally straight over your head as they come in just before touchdown and on 09s it, you just get a cracking belly shot from underneath the planes as you'll see in the footage coming up. Right, so we've done that location, let's head over to the second location. So as you can see here on the map, we're at the second location now, and this is on Viscount Drive. This road is actually the road as you, you would use to get to the flying school. So here, let's just get parked up. There is ample parking here. This is the main spot, really, out the three. Uh, this is pretty much where everyone goes to spot. Uh, as you say, there's plenty of parking spaces here. It's great in the summer to bring the families here. And there's also a little mound, as you will see shortly. So again, we're all parked up now. Let's head up the mound. As I say, this isn't a purpose-built mound, uh, so please take care as you walk up and down it, uh, as, it's, as it can be quite slippy in the rain. This mound is great for watching taxis as they're departing on 2-7. It's great for arrival shots for 2-7. It's also great for takeoff shots off 9 as you will see in the footage coming up.
Right, let's head over to the third and final location. So, as we're entering our third and final location now, yes, the third and final location is Speak Hall. They do have a viewing point. So, just a quick note as we park up here. It is free to park at Speak Hall. The only uh, thing you'll have to do is you'll have to pay to go to the grounds only to access this viewing point, which is £10 per adult and £5 per child. So, as we're out the car now, making our way over to the entrance, this is where you will have to go and pay. Again, £10 per adult, £5 per child. They do offer a free map when you purchase your tickets to enter the grounds. And you see it's well signposted anyway. They do have some great facilities here. A cafe, a toilets on site and a play area for the kids. And now as we're making our way up the path, there is a little viewing point before we get to the actual viewing point which is just a different angle basically on if you want for your photography and this spot is great for arrivals on 09 and departures on 27 as you will see in the footage shortly So that's uh, that's that concludes the vlog for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it informative. Uh, they're the three locations that I find best at John Lennon Liverpool Airport. Uh, if you do know of any other locations uh, that I have, don't know about, please drop it in the in the uh, comments below. It'd be great to hear of any other locations that, and be great to try them out as well. But yeah, uh, all three locations do have the pros and cons, as you've seen. To have three great views of one airport is great because str some airports you struggle just to get one. Uh, obviously, it's not as great as Manchester for spotting, but and it obviously, as you've seen, traffic-wise, it isn't the greatest at the moment. As I said earlier at the beginning of the vlog, there is more airlines coming to Liverpool as of 2024. We're in 2023 now. So Jet 2 will fill a bit of that space up, and then you've got a Rini and a couple of others I've heard. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found the information that I gave you ideal. Uh, I will be dropping in the comments, sorry, in the description below, I will also put in the locations, the postcodes for the three locations as well. Uh, so you can get copy and paste them, stick them into your sat nav, and it should take you straight there. And as I say, I hope you enjoyed it. So if you did, please hit that like button, Please hit that subscribe button, means a lot from me. Keep an eye out, there's another vlog coming soon. So thank you very much and take it easy. Bye bye guys. So we now have a merchandise range available and if you would like to help support the channel, I have dropped the links in the description below so you can now own your very own piece of Living It Large Aviation merchandise. Thank you very much. See you on the next vlog.